Hey everybody, this is Jeff Rappaport reporting for AdWeb. I built my own Stratix ADSB end receiver and I wanted to show you guys the results. If you're new to the concept, an ADSB end receiver will let you pick up METARs, TAFs, composite weather radar, NOTAMs, and TFRs for your area. Pretty useful. And it share, we'll share that with your favorite electronic flight bag, whether that's ForeFlight, Garmin Pilot, or one of the more esoteric options. You can build a Stratix ADSB for around $150 in parts compared to around $600 for the comparable commercial product. Now fully half of you at home are screaming, this guy is an idiot. Doesn't he know you can pick up traffic data? Traffic is the whole reason for ADSB. What about the traffic data? Yes, I understand you will get traffic data, but here's the deal. The weather data gets broadcast indiscriminately from ground stations. So anytime you're within, you're within range of a ground station, which is basically everywhere in the continental US, you'll get weather data. The traffic is complicated. We'll directly see aircraft that have ADSB out. But if they have ADSB out, they probably have ADSB in, which means they already see us. So for collision avoidance, it's not super useful. What it is we want is the TIS-B traffic data that gets sent specifically to airplanes that have an ADSB out transponder. What the Stratus does is it eavesdrops on these transmissions. So if you're flying close to a plane that has ADSB out, you'll get a good traffic picture. If you're not flying particularly close to a plane with ADSB out, you can expect a pretty spotty traffic picture. So if you don't have ADSB out in your airplane, regardless of how you're getting ADSB in, you should treat the traffic as a cool gimmick. Okay, disclaimer aside, the full parts list is available on YouTube or on the AvWeb website, but basically here's what we're working with. We've got one Raspberry Pi 3, which is really just a tiny computer on a single circuit board. One SD card with the Stratix software preloaded. Two ADSB radios, helpfully labeled 1090 and 978. Two high gain antennas. One external case. I find the case itself to be a tiny bit chintzy, but it did come with a fan and two tiny heat sinks. One USB battery pack. One external GPS antenna. Those are all your pieces. Putting it together is really just a matter of plugging the parts in. Getting the nuts on the mounting post requires some amount of fiddling, but you'll figure it out. Make sure you put the right antenna on the right radio. Other than that, you can't go wrong. I took it on a long trip this weekend and I did enjoy having winds aloft data over the ridges and AWOS data before we were close enough to pick it up on the radio. If you'd like to get in-flight weather on your iPad and need a good weekend project, the Stratix may be calling your name. This is Jeff Rappaport reporting for AvWeb.